when you're talking about life and love and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ chapter by chapter and verse by verse, life is one day at a time dot com. Welcome to Life is One Day at a Time dot com. I'm Minister Chestnut, and thanks for joining me again on another day of life and another day of love to live in His riches and glory. Praise God for another day. Hey, we're into the second half of 2022. Imagine, a half a year has gone by already, but we're still taking it one day at a time, and we're giving it to you chapter by chapter and verse by verse as we continue in Luke's gospel. Now, the last time we were here, the mob in his own hometown try to throw him off the top of a hill but he caused a, a slumber over their eyes and he walked away through the midst of them and went down to Capernaum a city of Galilee and taught in their synagogues let's pick it up and they were astonished at his doctrine for his words was with power. Now we know the word of God is with power. It is not in Jeremiah 23, 29. It says, is not my word like a fire? Is not my word like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces? Is not my word sharper than any two-edged sword? With power. Verse 33. And in the synagogue there was a man who had a spirit with an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Leave us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. Now, the demons, the devils, they knew exactly who Jesus was. Why? Because in the first earth age, hey, he had a contention with them. He beat them up pretty bad. But now, hey, he knows in the end, they lose. In the end, they'll be cast into the pit of hell, into the fire. They know it. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him down in the mist, he came out of him and hurt him not. You know, it, it was a little struggle, but he had to go. Because Jesus' word is with power. Verse 36. And they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? A, his word was with power and authority. That's why even today, right now, we have that power and authority in the name of Jesus. Do you use it? If you got credit cards, I know you use them. Hey, power and authority in the name of Jesus is yours. 
And they were all amazed and spoke among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the fame of him went out into every place, into the country round about. And he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever. And they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever. And it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Immediately. Say Luke uses this word. It's, it's a medical term in Greek, Hebrew. That's when he wrote this. It's been translated into English. You have to excuse the translation sometimes. Verse 40. And now... When the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And the devils came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuked them and suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. They knew he was the son of God. Verse 42. And when it was day. Now check this out. He'd been laying hands on folks all night. When it was day, he departed and went to a desert place. He had to go pray. And the people sought him and came unto him and stayed him that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore I am sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Now, did you catch that? He said, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, therefore I am sent. Now, the kingdom of God, where is it? Wherever God is. Now, today, where is the kingdom of God? Wherever you are. You are the church. You are the uh, ecclesia. So, if Jesus is in your heart, because God is love, then... Hey, you're in the kingdom of God. When you see the sick being healed, you're in the kingdom of God. When you see people getting healed of cancer, you've seen the kingdom of God. When you see the death here, you've Heard the kingdom of God. <laughs> hey, breaking it down. Wherever love is, wherever you are, if you're in the kingdom, hey, you're in the kingdom of God. Now, there's a whole subject on the kingdom of God. We'll bring up that later. But right now, we're in the gospel of Luke. And this, he's telling us that Jesus said, this is what he must do. Preach the kingdom of God. And that's what we should do today as we share the love, the compassion, the mercy, the ability, the power, and the Holy Spirit of, hey, God. Because he is love. Chapter 5, Luke. And it came to pass that as the people pressed in upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesart. And he saw two ships 
standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them, and they were washing the nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's. And he prayed that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Can you imagine that? I mean, people were everywhere. I mean, he had to have some space. And the area, he, a little bit out on the lake, water carries sound. And hey, Jesus is speaking. Ain't nobody talking. They're listening. And he taught from them out of the ship. Thousands of people all over the shore side standing by listening to him. Don't want him to leave. But he must go to other synagogues in Galilee and preach the kingdom of God. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draw. He told him, hey, uh, you want to catch something? Put your nets down. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Hey, is not Jesus' word with power? Check him out. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish and their nets break. And they beckoned to other, unto their partners, which were in the other ships, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sink. And when Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the draw of the fishes that were they had taken. Hey, when Jesus says do something and you do it, hey, expect results. Because hey, preparation plus opportunity equals success how do you do that you're preparing yourself right now by listening you have opportunity each and every day that you wake up so hey you'll have success with Jesus Christ as we continue in Luke chapter 10 and so was also James and John the sons of Zebedee which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, for henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they have brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. A. Hey, they were on a mission from that point on. They were on a mission. They would, hey, they weren't going to catch fish anymore. But they were going to catch men. More or less, not catching them, but in a sense, yes. But sharing with them the love of Jesus Christ and they accepting and believe that Jesus was the Son of God. And hey, they're saved. In the end, hey, I'm out of time. See you next week on another episode. How hard is it for everyone everywhere to come together and pray? Stop. Take a minute. Pray. Rejoice. Don't forget, life is one day at a time. Dot com comes on every week with Minister Chestnut live and in living color. So be there every week because Jesus is our rock.